Hello, this is Ronnie. I'm back here with a clip taken uh, from my log video that I just finished to record for my subscribers covering um, many markets, 70 minutes video. Uh, the clip that I have for you is as usual focusing on gold and silver. In addition, I'd like to mention that I'm going to reopen the special offer uh, that I have running from time to time in celebration of uh, modification of my uh, website. I'm renovating, improving, uh, so you'll get a chance to see that. If you're interested, I will be providing more details at the end of the, uh, this clip. Other than that, I wish you have pleasant viewing and uh, have a great trading week. Bye now. This is uh, spot silver, price in US dollars, the weekly scale, what happened this past week, the way it also closed the week is potentially catastrophic uh, for the longs. Silver is looking down, is looking down seriously and we are now uh, facing the possibility of uh, receiving a critical signal um, on a break of this uh, pink line that you see. There are a few uh, waveguards that I've been uh, working with, alternatives, uh, over the last few months and uh, you should be familiar with them by now. Uh, one of them was that the B leg, that famous B leg actually ended here, that sets up one, two, one, two structure that's going down, that's three, that's four, we're going down in a fifth leg, which is part of the huge C, okay, huge C on this leg, on this scale. Um, I think that that would be the preferred reading at this point. Um, it does seem to me that silver now has uh, a green light to continue a lot lower. I will uh, look at uh, daily now. And you can see the close. I think that it is extremely unlikely, extremely unlikely that silver will suddenly uh, perk back to life and reverse and look up. I could be wrong. I'm just following the odds. I follow what the pattern is uh, most likely uh, to do. Yes, the pattern that we, the patterns in general, that uh, uh, the very common, the, the, and the reaction that follows when you get such a break of an important support level and the way in which it closed the week, all of this is extremely uh, negative. Okay, I'm going to flip back to the weekly. I want to see something from close okay there are quite a few things here first of all this is not new I already mentioned that uh, you can see the line that has been going on here uh, it flipped above didn't really close above that came back the very next week boom closed under the floor I really have to conclude that this is now under threat that this is going to go meaning it's going to absolutely crash through that Okay, with the dollar index uh, threatening to run above an important resistance level, as we discussed, silver crashing through the floor here and gold almost certainly continuing down with platinum as well, we have uh, the road forward, which in this case would be the road down, clearly marked for us. So that means silver going down for weeks to come, um, if not months. Uh, I'm saying weeks until we hit uh, the end of that uh, structure of uh, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 4, okay, that, that will be just the first leg of the major C that I uh, think is now unfolding. Now here's uh, gold, that's the weekly scale. Um, gold could not have closed the week in a more bearish way. It is so bearish that uh, is really uh, encouraging me to conclude that this is an ABC behind us. Now, I have no guarantee or promise or anything to deliver here. I am just doing my best sharing with you my ideas. It is possible that I'm wrong, but I'm just putting together all the signals and everything that I see from all the related markets and I'm just going for that conclusion, practical conclusion, with some important critical levels to watch to guide me for my trading uh, um, during the coming week. And what I see here on the weekly, that gold made valiant attempt to rally, came towards the overhead resistance here, couldn't make it. Couldn't make it. One week closed red, the next week not only closed red, actually closed on the floor here and just crashed through this level. 
you can see. So uh, I'm going with uh, the likelihood that this is now going to head towards 1160 and much lower than that. As to the large scale, I have here the reading that we have discussed on several occasions. Again, we are dealing with a B, that famous B. Yes, that uh, we saw in silver. It's probably also working here. Uh, so we have an A, B, C, D, E. That could be the E leg. Okay, not as, uh, uh, as time consuming as the previous legs that we had, but it could definitely stand for the E leg. Uh, if you remember, we also had uh, the alternative that that could be the end of the B right here. You see with a flash ending here and that would open the gate for this being one two three four and that will go down in the fifth leg i don't know which one is the correct one we will see over time there's no um need or obligation to push a waveguard it's not prudent it's sometimes better to work with various alternatives especially in this case where uh, where we have a lot of alternatives that are pointing in one direction now there is another alternative which is terribly bearish for gold and that is you work with a B having ended here and the round down here is your first leg. That means the ABC is your second leg and what gold is doing now is going down in a third wave. Now you see over time we will find out which one is the right, uh, is the right alternative. If you wonder what I'm talking about, suppose this is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 then gold is going to do this and then it's going to do this do you see and then it's going to go down that's one two now if alternatively in fact this is one and this is two uh gold is not going to do this do you understand it's not going to do this it's just going to continue down because you already had huge leg one you already had you correction two you're going to go down in a third wave gold is going to target almost uh, immediately yeah, uh, the previous flow in, uh, registered here in December 2015. Uh, th that, that is the way I take it. Now, um, if the B ended here, then only now we are beginning the major slide of C. Because if the B, the B ended here, we are actually in the C right now. Do you see that? But if the B ended here, we're only now starting. And what I think will happen is that we will get a move that looks like that, a move that looks like that from here. And it's going to run straight down to the floor of December 2015. Either way, I think uh, gold is in really big trouble now. Those who are looking only, only at the long side, they could have it tough. Um, again, I could be wrong. I could be flat wrong. I'm going to show you what I think should happen if the bearish case is the one that is going to prevail here. Uh, there are several levels that are going to continue to be respected uh, by the bird. This is the daily now. So if this is a 3, 4, or if this is a 1, 2, you're dealing with a clean ABC here on the daily. That is a 1, 2. We are down in the third wave. We are down in the third wave. There is only one thing that uh, gold could and should do right now. Uh, in this scenario, we just continue down. Just continue down. Anything else, and I'm going to go to the 60 minutes, so you will see it even closer in terms of the analysis of what is unfolding here. That's the 60 minutes, so that is one. That could have been a failure, A, B, C, but I, I would take this to be the second, second wave ending here, or it could have ended here. It's not gonna make a huge difference. My point is this, my point is, Gold has no business going there, for example, right now. That's 1,222. That's too much strength. It's too much strength for the bearish scenario that I am developing here to, to, to accept. It's just too much strength. Therefore, if gold manages to run back to 1,222, you see the dollar index caving into selling pressure beginning to go down, silver coming out of the grave beginning to go up, then things are moving, something is going on. Maybe I'm wrong, okay? Uh, now, I am definitely wrong uh, if gold manages to climb back to 1237 and close there, then it's almost certainly going to continue higher. And we're going to get an extension. Maybe this is one, this is two, we're going up in a third wave. Gold doing anything like that, and the bears are in control, fully in control. 
gold continue for another two three days seriously down have no doubt it will continue down for weeks okay here's the chart of platinum that's the monthly and the um, case in platinum here <coughs> sorry uh, could deliver an extension of the rundown that we have seen here that we took as a fifth wave potentially complete I've discussed this on the monthly uh, before uh, we have this as an A potentially B terminating here or here that should be taken as one two down we go we have a three four and that could be the end in which case platinum is ready for a major rally but things could actually get a bit of a delay here in terms of uh, uh, a nice rally because uh, that's the monthly and you can see what happened do you see that crystal clear it's more than two and a half years of resistance this is tough resistance we have also nine going down here which was respected on several occasions I don't have to, I don't have to stretch this too far it was built with these two spots look at this look at this and look at this so now platinum got to a point where if it manages to break above we have a signal long term it doesn't manage to break above it climb it, it reverses and it breaks through I'll show you a critical level uh, on a shorter time scale uh, it is indicating that in fact this is wave one or five so that's going to be one that's two it's going to continue down and platinum will go lower than you currently want to believe is possible yes platinum is going to do this yeah and that's going to last at least one year at least could last two three years platinum is going to go to, towards 400 and that would be the end and that will be a buy of a lifetime okay so this is really important chart uh, in the case of platinum now here's the weekly and you can see the inability for now to climb above the overhead resistance and now I'm going to go to the daily and you surely remember and I presented it that I said to you I don't know what to make out of this uh, climb here it doesn't cut as a nice five leg up it looks like a diagonal first I wasn't really sure what to do with that I was quite excited with a breakout here and I gave it if you like the credit that it could last and it could still last and it could still reverse and go up there is nothing in this chart that says it's impossible there is nothing impossible in the markets everything is possible and it could happen but if it doesn't happen and we get this and it sinks down then forget about it this was catching the stops and in fact what we are dealing with is an ABC X ABC and it's finished the correction is finished the correction relates to this this so this is your impulsive wave down that's the correction and platinum is heading to much lower lows now let's jump to the 60 minutes and that is one reading that's the top one two one two three four five three four five keep looking looking down platinum managing to go back to 874 that's good news for the bulls that's good news platinum is likely to recover is likely to go higher I want to go back to the daily and if you're interested in platinum uh, in general if you're interested in the uh, action the precious metals uh, you should absolutely have the lines here on your chart as well that's coming at around 850 840 platinum crashes uh, through the rising support line here of the channel giving us a daily close crashing through that forget it platinum is going to go a lot lower uh, by then I think that also silver and gold would make it absolutely clear that they're heading a lot lower and let me tell you that even if you missed out on these first moves and you will miss out on the next two three days you have not missed out on the big scale no you could still make pile of money on the short side because this move is going to last for many months so don't don't get discouraged okay don't get discouraged saying oh well I missed it I can't sell it now 
you know, no, no, don't let these kind of feelings overpower you. Just take it very coolly. Look, stay calm, look very carefully what's happening. Once you get your first leg down, it crashes through the, the level here and it goes down like that. That's your second wave. That's your chance to get in. Get in short, it is extremely likely to continue down. Hello, this is Ronnie. I'm back here with uh, some details of the special offer that I mentioned to you early on. Uh, so you need to go on my website. You find it uh, at wavemastery, yes, www.wavemastery.com. That's the front page. You see I have, uh, if you are familiar with the previous version, uh, you can see this is a modified version. And uh, you run through, there is a bit of text here. And um, concerning the special offer, you will see uh, some tabs here that focus on the offer. Yeah, it begins uh, with the trial for the daily videos, uh, a trial that is uh, costing you only um, $9.99 for uh, one week. If you like what you see, you have um, more details uh, about what is covered in the trial as well as in the daily videos once you click on the subscribe here. But this gives you just a, a very brief idea of uh, what is uh, really covered. Uh, if you go for the daily videos, you click here. If you want to go for the weekend uh, videos, uh, obviously you click here. Well, let's suppose you go for the um, daily videos. You click here, it takes you to the page that gives you full explanation of what is involved. Um, if you are from Europe, uh, VAT applies. Most countries are subject to VAT, so you have to select your country here. If you are from uh, anywhere else, if you are from the UK, USA, Belgium, oddly enough, because I'm based in Belgium, but uh, in Belgium, you don't pay VAT. Uh, so USA, UK, Belgium, the rest of the world, basically, you don't pay any VAT, uh, only 79 applies. So your subscription will start with a 9.99 after one week, uh, the 79 will kick in every month. Uh, you click on that, it takes you to uh, uh, PayPal, uh, you go through the, it's a fourth straightforward uh, process uh, you pay you see it starts with uh, uh, for the first seven days 9.99 uh, you go through that it takes you back to the page um, and uh, essentially you get your logins yes you go through you have to fill in all your details gives you the login and um, you will need the more information uh, for me so as soon as uh, uh, you subscribe I will um, get in touch with me uh, I will uh, uh, provide you the necessary details to complete your uh, subscription and have access uh, to the videos. Uh, if we go back to the main page, um, I just want to run very quickly here through the menu. Uh, I'm in the process of actually, um, you know, introducing, introducing some changes uh, to my website. So the, the front page might look slightly different. Maybe in the next week or so, I will be adding a few links here and there. But in general, um, I have written a few articles here that you might like to take a look at. Is this website for me, Psychology and Trading, Trading and the Arts, why join? Uh, you go through, uh, you've got a uh, subscribe. It also gives you an access to the, uh, to the special promotional offer. Yeah, it's just another way of accessing it. Instead of uh, coming from the front page, yeah, you will have... Uh, um, you will access uh, through the, the menu here. Use uh, subscription that that relates to uh, uh, the pages. Once you subscribe, once you log in, etc., it tells you which one is your subscription, etc. You have resources uh, here in chart galleries. You have a lot of charts um, giving you um, a very good idea how this uh, um, uh, principle of the Elliott waves is being applied to various markets at various time scales. It's very, very interesting. You should go through that if you are really a fan of uh, charts. Useful link, recommended reading list, all the other things are fairly standard. Um, take a look. Uh, contact us. That's for um, any issue that comes, uh, you come across, you have a question, you have a doubt, you have anything you want to discuss with me, just uh, use contact us. Uh, normally, uh, for the payment, I'm using PayPal, but you can pay uh, through other uh, means. For example, I can accept money through Skrill. Um, there is even a possibility to make a wire transfer to the um, account of um, uh, the company that I use. Uh, yes, to run this website. 
uh, if you don't have PayPal or you don't want to use PayPal, there are other ways to um, um, to pay and to join. Uh, there are a few uh, comments here that people put on my uh, concerning my work. I, in the past, I had many more. I just because I'm in the process of uh, uh, yes uh, improving, I'll have to um, uh, transfer, bring more uh, of the history yes of my work uh, to this um, uh, new. Uh, version. Uh, again, if you have any questions, uh, you just press this. That takes you to the contact us page. Uh, name, email address, please make sure you give me the right email address. Message, very simple maths, fill it in here, submit and I get it. So I mentioned that I am, uh, in principle, I'm in Belgium. So um, if you write to me from the US or from Australia or anywhere in the world and I don't reply on the spot, Please give me a few hours. I will reply. Okay, I will reply. This particular weekend, I have uh, gone through uh, covering a lot uh, of um, the charts that are affecting um, the um, forex market, the precious metals, and there is some really very very interesting study that I'm sure you would absolutely love if you're interested in the precious metals and in currencies in general. Okay, so um, I um, I think at the very least it's worth your while to have a go for a trial. Go for a trial, and you see, uh, you you will have access, and you can ask me also some questions if you like, uh, and then you'll see how things evolve for you. Uh, again, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate. I'm here to help. Um, I hope to see you visiting my website, supporting my work. Um, wish you have a great uh, trading week. All the best. Bye for now.